Hello everybody and welcome to episode one of Stranded Deep. I've been getting a lot of requests to play Stranded Deep and I, I always intended to do it. It's been a game I've been excited about for a long time and it's finally released on early access on Steam. For those who are curious, Stranded Deep is a survival sim along the same lines as The Long Dark or uh, more probably close in relation to The Forest. Minus the horror aspects of supernatural stuff and in place you're on an island in the middle of a gigantic ocean. Now I know I can hear you sighing, oh god, Matt, that's not another survival sim, please stop. But you have to understand, man, the fact that there are so many survival sims coming out, so many survival games in the genre, means there's a lot of opportunity to have variations. And we've seen so many, from zombie games to dinosaur games to uh, just, you know, Canadian wilderness, and now we have an island survival game. And just the change of scenario can really change how the game is played. I'm excited, I played a little bit of it before. I don't know how many episodes I'm gonna get out of the game, just because I don't know how much content there really is to rake out of it, uh, since it is Alpha Zero One. But, I'm gonna play it for a little while and see what I can what I can get. So guys, buckle up, and let's start playing Stranded Deep. All right, here we are, Stranded Deep. This looks familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, this is familiar. So, we start in an airplane. Uh, Again, this is why I said it has a little bit of a resemblance, not just this reason, but it's, you know, a very similar opening to uh, what we have as, as the forest. The, the difference is this serves as a tutorial, so it's going to teach us how to do crafting and such. So we're going to make ourselves a martini. We're going to come over here. Oh, look, craftable ob objects are highlighted in orange. Uh, hold the left mouse button to craft a martini using the group on the trolley. So, we do like this physical crafting system. Once they're in the world, you can then craft things. So we can hold down left button. Click martini, we make a martini, we grab the martini by hitting, uh, oh, we have to light the martini on fire first, I'm sorry. Light it on fire, and then we can pick it up with E, and we'll go ahead and, mmm, drink it, delicious. Now, it looks like we're gonna be using, can we, alright, invisible wall, sorry. It looks like this is actually on the Unity engine, I'm not gonna lie, the screenshots didn't look like the Unity engine, but once you start playing the game, it very much becomes apparent that this is, I'm pretty positive the Unity engine, which is... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it, it's a little disappointing. I was hoping it wasn't gonna be the Unity Engine, because uh, Unity Engine has a lot of weird quirks to go along with it, but so far what I've played hasn't been detrimental by any stretch. So, of course, a hull blows out in our plane, and we're gonna be landing on the island soon. We can just, it just It's just this until the game loads up, so we'll hit Z to skip, and okay. I'm not quite sure what's happening here, so, uh, yeah, Alpha. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, had to start a new game, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we're good, I think. Yeah, that's weird, it's just weird. So, you got to start in a life raft here, and, uh, we are now kind of close to an island. So let's go ahead and grab our paddle. Uh, and we will just start clicking to use it, and we can start moving. So as you can see, you kind of have this wide open area. And I'm a huge fan of the fear that the ocean ends up bringing. To any game, that's why I think I really like Subnautica, and I, I'm looking forward to having a little bit of more content in that game as well. Uh, but we're gonna pop over to the closest island, and we're just gonna get right to survival. We have a couple things we need to do, but like any good survival game, um, we're gonna need to start going and grabbing as much of the nearby stuff as possible. So, eh, is it? All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and hit Q and put that down. If we ho hold down the right click, you can drag things. So we're just going to drag this on land so it doesn't fly off into the water. We'll go ahead and pick up the paddle and we'll throw it right in the raft so it is there for us. So as of um, the as of right now, it seems like most of the game islands in the game are really small. Um, but that's okay. I'm totally okay with that. So we're going to go around and we're going to go and look for some stuff. If we hit e, uh, tab, we can actually open up our inventory. And this is it. You only have eight slots. And it looks, for the most part, things only stack in fours. So if you fill up, you're going to have to put things down. But that's fine. What we're going to end up doing right now is just kind of start piling things together. Uh, because of the way the crafting system works, we kind of need to do that. We're going to be looking for rocks. We're going to be looking for sticks. And hopefully we're going to get some crude weapons built very, very quickly. As well as some food. Now, we can climb trees. This guy has amazing upper body strength, I must say. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab some coconuts so we can have some food to eat later. Uh, let's just hit W, or rather S, to go back down it. Damn it. I think I broke something. That's actually really, really bad to the point where restarting might be important right now. Because there's no way for me to really heal it. I don't know if there's any way for me to heal it. That was, that was rough. I didn't mean to jump off. 
that's why I was saying jumping is really bad because uh, you kind of you hurt yourself pretty easily in the game. That's fine. I think he might be limping, which is kind of interesting the way he's moving. Um, that's fine, and you can see there is a shark out there, kind of swimming around out there. Hope you don't have fears of sh a fear of sharks. But lots of sticks laying around. I found no rocks. Also, if we hit F, I believe, you can actually take a look at your uh, your health and the time. So you hold F and then you can left click. Let's actually drop this real quick. You hold F. Oh, his. Oh, I think I broke my arm. That's really weird. I see a scratch. Uh, but if you hit left, you can see the time and the temperature and the day and how many days I've survived. And then you can see our food, health, and water meter. For somebody who broke something, we're in pretty healthy condition. Let's go ahead and pick these up. And we need to find some rocks. We do. We need to find some rocks real bad if we want to get some tools up and running. All right. Let's go ahead and plop these down. I don't think we can. Okay. We can actually make a campfire right now, which we don't need yet. Can't do anything with this. Th don't go anywhere, coconut. Stupid runaway coconut. Just stay, stay where you are, sir. I don't. My character doesn't have actually a physical model, so I can't just like bump into it. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Stay there, coconut. We need to find some rocks. There's some shipwreck, and there is an element of underwater exploration if that's your thing. Um, there are like shipwrecks and stuff you can explore. I think it's they they tout it as an infinitely generated world, so you can always go from island to island. Though for now. There's really not much to explore when it comes to going island to island, except for supplies. Uh, that all stuff is to come. As it, again, it is early access. So we did find a rock. I don't know, I can't remember if this is enough to make ourselves a, uh, look at this. Look at our model. We don't have one. Like, <laughs> the shadow is, like I said, a little reminiscent of a, of, what do you call it? We need rocks, apparently. Uh, the forest. Man, I'm having a hard time thinking of things. There's another rock, which is good. We need it. Let's see if we can find a couple more. Get some basic stuff going. Oh, we do have a crab there. We'll... Can we... There's a way to kill it. I just don't have a weapon right now. And I can't actually swing... Oh, you know what? No, I do. Let's go ahead and kill the crab. That's actually some food. So we're just going to go ahead and stab him with our floaty. Because we're a ghost. Guys, the whole time we've been dead. A plane crashes. We're on an island. And we have no body. We're dead. Oh my god. I can make a TV show out of that. And then raise a bunch of questions that'll never be answered. It'll sell like hotcakes. Oh hey, Mr. Shark. What's up, buddy? You're coming mighty close to the shore, my friend. You are dangerously close. Yeah. No, 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 no. Out of the water. No, sir. Okay. Let's go grab a couple more rocks. Up oh, crabs. Get them. Get the crabs. Get them. Yeah. Huh. Crab. Eh. I need the food, man. I need the food. All right. Let's actually. I like how I can kill them twice. Let's take a look. Our food and water situation is okay. That might be enough crab for now. Let's go pile these rocks up and see if we can do anything with them. So, uh, we'll go ahead and take this now. You're gonna have to just drop it so Q drops things. Campfire. Campfire. Hmm. Small female crab. Small female crab. That's hilarious. <laughs> just throw them like that. That's awesome. Um. Alright. What we need now is a very particular plant. One that I'm actually not seeing. And it, what it allows us to do is actually bind things together. The yucca might be exactly what I'm looking for here. So we're going to go ahead and cut this down. And we should be able to get some rope and stuff out of this. There it is. So a little bit of lashing, which uh, is really important. And the, the lashing will allow us to actually build tools, which is what I've been trying to do here and keep forgetting that I actually need the yucca plant. So we'll pop this open, drop a couple of these, and we will make ourselves a crude axe first. And then we can actually go ahead and make a crude hammer. And we'll pick up these. Now, these are important because we can chop down trees. Now we can actually get some shit going in this town. Now we can actually chop down trees with your knife, but as you can see, your knife actually has some health. And uh, chopping down trees, as I tried my first run through, is a terrible thing to do with your, and there's that's an easier way of getting coconuts, by the way, uh, is a terrible thing to do because by the time you have two trees down, your knife is half dead. And your knife is gonna be very, very important early on. 
So what you need to do is you need to chop down trees and uh, break them down into trunks. And then those trunks, you can start breaking down into logs. And what I want to do next is get a campfire up because I want to start cooking some stuff. And we're going to need to boil some water and all that other goodness. We do have a little bit of water on us, but, you know, it works. Same thing over here. So we actually can hold. I can just. Oh, I can't hold down the left click button. Oh, wait. No, I can. Can I? Yeah, I can. I have to just be looking at it when I start the swinging in order to hold it down. So we're going to break this up. And start uh, getting a campfire up and running. I think we might need a couple more rocks to get a campfire up. I think we used all the rocks just getting some crude tools up. But getting some crude tools is important for us. Alright, we got a lot of coconuts over here. So I'm not feeling too bad about our coconut situation. That's the tree stump. I was very confused. I was like, whoa, what is this treasure here? If we want to, campfire. And we can actually just slap it here. And then if we want, we can go ahead and do that. And I think... We can do is uh, grab these crabs and no Q. Can I actually plop them on top? Nothing I can do here. All right, this is new for me. All right, I can't do anything right now. A little bit weird. All right, I can't tell if it's actually cooking or not. Like I make it's making sizzling sounds the whole time. Can I actually pop this sucker open with my axe? Can I? I don't think so. Maybe get like the crab meat out of it. No. All right, we're obviously hitting the limits of what I've seen already so far in the game. And uh, what I might go and do is pop up in the wiki just to see. About some basic non-sensory. So, yeah, it's not making... Hmm, okay. It's not actually making any sizzling noise uh, on the coconuts. It's only doing it for that. So that tells me something. Let's see if there's anything else on the here that I need to, to get. Uh, there's another yucca plant, actually. That's might be very important for us. So let's actually go ahead and grab that. Couple more lashings. Any more yucca plants on this island? Also, did that shark disappear? I hope he did. Ooh, there's some supplies here, possibly. Oh, very nice. Goggles. That's cool. So we can do a little bit of diving now. Happy to have it. All right, let's see what these yucca plants actually do for us, if anything. And there it is. So if we can. Doesn't look like we can actually do anything with it. All right, I'm going to check something real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I know what we need. We need rocks. We need rocks. We need rocks. So in order to do any cooking, we actually need to get, like, a fire pit going. Um, and then we need to actually build something to put over the fire pit. So the campfire was step number one. The next thing we need to do is add a bunch of rocks to that campfire. And uh, it'll create a fire pit, of which then we can do some basic gr uh, crafting over. Is that, like, a crab hole? No one likes crab holes, let's be honest. If we can't find many rocks here, we're going to have to go out and search for them elsewhere. Which scares me a little bit. I don't know if I can actually use this hammer for anything. Maybe the hammer will give us some rocks. That doesn't look like to be the case, though. And <laughs> I, love the, I love the floating of our bodies here. Alright, so I think our best bet is going to be heading off to an island nearby. And uh, every time they spawn in, they spawn in floating. It's really strange. Let's see if we can go ahead and get some stuff. I'm a little nervous that this asshole right here is going to cause me some shit. But let's go ahead and climb in. And what we're going to do is go look for rocks, I guess, since we are out of them. The question is, where do I want to go looking for rocks? Where is the closest island that we can actually go do anything in? Can we actually break this down some more? Oh, it just gave us extra. That's got to be a glitch. It's fine. Infinite lashings is fine. If they respawn, do rocks respawn? I'd rather not have to leave the island and venture into shark-infested waters in order to get, like, rocks. We honestly might just want to head off to the next island anyway. Take what we can get and then move on. 
We'll take some crabs. Yeah, we can do this elsewhere. We're filled up, it looks like. Yeah, we can do this elsewhere. All right, let's move on to another island where we can get some more rocks, maybe. All right, sirs and or madams, let's do a little bit of exploration, shall we? All right, come on, into the water. I don't want to go into the water, but can I climb in, please? Oh, God damn it. All right, I think I have to go on this side. Yeah, there's a ladder here. All right, good. Whoop, okay. All right, friends. Adventure awaits. Let's go. Yes. Completely realistic water physics over the deep waters with sharks and shit. No sharks come near me, please. The closest island is really far away, so I feel like even if we wanted to to stay there, this is not going to happen. So first island, basic tools. Second island, we'll get some a campfire and food and stuff going. And then we can look into building some basic housing, which is going to be importante. I don't like this at all. At all. Just surrounded. Man, in the Oculus Rift, this game would be horrifying for me, I'm sure. Though I have goggles, right? Or am I, am I automatically wearing goggles? I must be. I didn't drop them. I'm pretty positive I did not drop them. So keep on moving, friends. If I can. Whoop. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, man, this is, I feel like we're making very little progress here. I kind of can't see the land yet. What time is it? We're getting hungry, too. Sucks that we can't cook anything unless we get a fire pit up and running. All right, come on. Keep moving. Unless I'm doing it completely wrong. It's very possible that what I'm doing is incredibly the wrong thing. I like to explore these games mildly blind. I did play a little bit to understand how certain things work, but I think, I think uh, going to the island, next island is the best bet. Man, this is, how far away is this thing, man? It's like super far away. I love the, gl the slight glitchiness of the rowing. All right, so our island that we were at is like really far away now. Oh, please no. All right, we're just gonna keep moving. Ignore the, the shark music. It's getting late as well. Oh, I don't wanna be stuck in the middle of the ocean in the middle of the night. Make it to the island, Mathis. You'll get to the island and be safe. You'll get some food into your belly and be happy. Sing to yourself on the ocean. Don't give the shark any notion that you're afraid. Cause you're so brave. Oh, Mathis, the ocean survivor. Doesn't know what to do next now that it's dark. I'm a little bit nervous. Hey, there's the island glitching into existence here. Yeah. I bet you all these islands are like super placeholder and actually only spawn when the game deems you close enough to them. Interesting. Well, luckily the sharks have decided they do not wish to kill me this day. I wonder, if there's, I wonder if there's any weather changes in the game. Hope there is. I'm sure there will be over time. Excuse me, island. Could you just come a little bit closer? Yep, we're getting there. Moon's beautiful, though. Lighting is nice. Certain Unity games, man, they're just beautiful, beautiful. With their lighting. Is that a shark? Oh, that is a shark. Is that a shark? No, it's not. It's a sunken ship. With something sticking out of it. I am not going looking now. Not happening. We'll be looking underwater soon enough. 
Not yet, man. I'm not ready yet. We're here! Land ho! Ugh. There you go. Let's just... Can I... Ugh. I'm like attached to it or something. Come on. Up on the water. Good enough for me. And this is where we'll wrap up this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're excited to see a little bit more of this wonderful game called Stranded Deep. If you are, come back tomorrow for some more. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.